Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Thoracic Base channel in Malaysia. On the channel today, I'm checking out the Hot Wheels Basic Cut 164 scale Armadillo vehicle from this year's animated Lightyear movie. Now, on the actual cut back itself, the artwork for this vehicle makes it look absolutely ginormous. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's like overpowering the entire backdrop. But however, when you get it out of the package, it actually looks really tiny even at this particular scale. I mean, it's not often that I see such a complex looking vehicle look quite so small. Why didn't they just scale it up a little bit more? I think it's a shame that the Lightyear movie was not received well by audiences globally. It was a massive flop. It lost money, I'm sure. And it was in fact banned in a lot of countries, including Malaysia as well. I won't get into the details of that here. It's covered already in the international press. But this is one of those rare instances that the quality of a film's toy line surpasses that of the film itself. Yeah, and sadly, you know, the Lightyear toy line has proven to be a colossal failure here as well. The toys have been on clearance for months. But seriously, these are just some of the best designed sci-fi toys out there. Even at this Hot Wheels scale, you can see just how amazing these vehicle concepts are. And everything here just seems very influenced by sci-fi cartoons and movies that you saw in the 80s. Which makes sense, okay, because the Lightyear movie is also set in the 1980s. The irony of it is that this particular Hot Wheels 164 scale vehicle is made right here in Malaysia, okay, just like with most of the other 164 scale Hot Wheels cars. But the movie itself, okay, the actual movie that the toy is based off from, okay, that one's been banned from screens here in Malaysia. So I thought I'd just mention that because it's a pretty unique situation. I don't think it's ever happened before. There is a larger scale version of the Armadillo that Mattel has put out as well. That one is really fantastic as well. It's got all kinds of features, sliding doors, you know, compartments that open up, especially the rear, the rear compartment opens up and there's like a cannon that launches out of it or something like that. Uh, this particular toy, can't do any of that right you kind of wish that they did have at least one small opening compartment you know but uh you know yeah you know nothing here opens up okay yeah sucks right the armadillo comes with two sets of rolling wheels underneath and this allows you with some different play options you can either have it just rolling on the ground okay just rolling like that or you could also have it just soaring to the sky Ultimately, I hope that Hot Wheels and Mattel have not given up on the Lightyear brand. Even though the movies failed, the toys are fantastic. I do hope to see more of these die-cast 164 scale vehicles in the range, especially Buzz Lightyear's super awesome looking XL15 jet. Man, that thing is just a beauty. All right, I hope to see more of that stuff in the series. Let me know what you thought of this video. Thanks for joining me as always. And I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content. Thank you and take care out there.